Hello everyone, today I'll be showcasing a planet pack that a very dedicated group of friends and I have made over the past couple of weeks. We're calling it Earth Overhaul. Now, this pack isn't just like any other planet pack. At the time of recording, the pack only has the ultra realistic day to night cycle. However, we're planning on adding much much more to this, such as a custom earth texture, new and realistic terrain, possibly even water, and more things to come. The group who worked on the planet pack consisted of 7 members, Affinity, Bakey Cheese, P Terror, RP1 slash Locks, Soviet Penguin, me, and Yush. All these members were dedicated and worked hard on getting this pack out. We really couldn't have done it without everyone working together like that. Now, onto the actual features of the planet pack itself. You've been watching me launch through the sunset portion of the atmosphere. You can really see those beautiful colors come out as we go higher and higher. Not only do we have gorgeous looking launches, you also may have noticed that the stars have been gradually appearing as we increase our altitude. If you take a look at every other day to night cycle, you'll see that the stars are always present, no matter what. However, we overcame this by adding a planet inside Earth itself that had a black gradient atmosphere. Since it was actually orbiting another planet inside Earth, we were also able to make it so that during the day, you won't see the stars at ground level, but at night, those stars will appear. If you look closely at the video on screen, you should be able to see that in action. In addition to these features, we added three layers of clouds, Cumulus, Stratus, and Cirrus. Going through these clouds can be especially beautiful, no matter whether you're launching, flying, or re-entering. From Earth's orbit, you're able to get a really good view of the sunsets and sunrise as you fly by them. However, while using this planet pack, you may encounter a couple of bugs. As you can see, Earth's planet text in the map view gets slightly obscured by the planet itself. When zooming out a bit more, you can see that Earth's text also disappears for a bit before coming back. One more possible bug you may see occur is this black planet appearing over Earth. This only happened to one of our testers and it hasn't occurred since then, so we're hoping you shouldn't see it in the release version. This is just something you'll unfortunately have to deal with, although our team has made it as seamless as we can. With all this being said, we've made the pack available for download in the description of this video. The download includes the pack as well as a readme text with more information. If you'd like to try it out, you're free to go and use it. However, planet packs and other file editing aspects actually need you to have file access, which means iOS users usually can't get these packs for now. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Okay, um, I don't file type that is, but it's 18 EB, whatever that is. EB? What? EB? Wait. <laughs> it's 18 EB. Wait, is it exabytes? No. Exabytes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm reading off the definition. An exabyte is equivalent to 1 billion gigabytes. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>